Welcome, this is the uh, TCAP 7th grade practice test. This is the math section, number 12. Uh, the question says, a brand of pasta costs $2.10 for 14 ounces. At this rate, what is the price for 22 ounces of this brand of pasta? Now, let's scout the question before we do anything else. Scouting the question can get you a long way in a lot of problems. And this one, it totally helps you out more than you would ever think. This says a brand of pasta costs $2.10 for 14 ounces. They want to know what 22 ounces cost. Well, 22 is more than 14, so unless somehow the price of pasta goes down as you buy more of it, and in t it, per ounce it might, but not in total, like you can Sam's Club it, but you still pay more for all of it in the end. Um, it's probably not going to be $2.10 or anything less than two ten if we're trying to pay for more pasta, like the 22. So I'm going to look at the answer choices. Well, F says it's 10 cents. Well, 10 cents is a heck of a lot less than $2.10, so that's out. 15 cents is out. All I'm left with is $2.90 and $3.30. Well, 22 is considerably more than 14, so it is much more likely to be the bigger one than the smaller one, but we can still find out, and it's much easier to pick from two answers than it is from uh, four answers. So at least we eliminated two, right? Now, in order to figure out what the answer is, what we're going to do first is figure out how much one ounce of pasta costs. And what I'm going to do is take $2.10 and break it up into parts of 14 because I have 14 ounces and they're all $2.10 combined. So instead of uh, looking at the whole group, I'm going to look at one of those groups, or one ounce. So one ounce, so I'm going to write per ounce here, uh, $2.10 divided by 14 gives me $0.15, or I mean in your brain you could say 15 cents an ounce. Now all I need to do is figure out how many ounces are in 22. So you can add 15 cents 22 times, or if we're looking at having a bunch of groups of a certain value, we're just going to use multiply. So I do 0.15 times 22, and it gives me $3.30, which is right here, the answer is J, which is what we predicted before without having to do any real work. Um, you could sort of just figure it out with just using logic, really, um, instead of having to live in this universe where you're going to set up a proportion. If you want to set up a proportion, feel free to do it. It would be $2.10 over the number of ounces that cost $2.10, which is 14. Set it equal to uh, something over 22 ounces. Remember, if you've got ounces on the top, you want to have it on the bottom as well. In my class, we talk about insane asylums. In an insane asylum, you have two types of people who are there. You have people who are dangerous, and they have people who are just sort of crazy, and they're not really dangerous. So you want to keep them on separate floors so they don't hurt each other. So uh, if your ounces are on the bottom floor, you want to keep the ounces on the bottom floor of the other one as well. So you'll do um, cross multiply here, so 22 times 210, and then divide by the other one, which would uh, give you that 3.5 three that you got before. No big deal. I think the first way is easier, but scouting the problem can really make a lot of difference in your scores this year. So good luck.